I took a DNA test and unlocked a family bombshell completely by accident. I wasn't looking for anything specifically, didn't really know what I was doing, but was able to make a family connection that I never knew existed. And it changed my life, and especially my father's life, forever. I was convinced to take this test on 23andMe by my mother, who wanted to know what my ethnic, regional, national background was. My dad was adopted in 1950 in Salt Lake City, so we knew that, but we knew nothing about his biological family. My mom literally walked out with the test tube and said, all you have to do is spit in this, we'll fill out the, uh, the online profile together, and then you wait for the results. About a month later, I get an email from 23andMe that says, we have your results. So I clicked the 23andMe email, opened it up, and took a look at my profile and found some interesting things at first about my uh, ethnicity and my background. And then there's this other section that you click on that says like your immediate family. And so I clicked on that. There I see my mother. Okay, I was expecting that. But one other relative popped up and it said possible first cousin. So I looked at this profile and I clicked this potential first cousin and a name and a picture popped up. I didn't even look at the name picture blew my mind. My jaw dropped, I fell back into my chair, and I see a picture of a man who looks exactly like my dad. I knew, I knew and believed in that moment, like this had to be my dad's brother. It had to be. We call him Uncle Bear. And then my dad calls me, and he's emotional. I could tell that he's flustered and he says something like, what? What's going on? By the end of the day, my dad and his brother are exchanging emails. My dad's first line in this email, the subject line he writes, interesting day. I woke up an orphan and I'm going to bed thinking maybe I have a brother out there. And so then Bear writes back and, and I'm looped in on all these emails. He says, Steve, it's good to hear from you. <laughs> I mean, to me when I'm reading that, the simplicity and the brilliance and the raw emotion in, in a line like that, it's good to hear from you, my brother, who I never knew was out there. And we decide that we're going to meet. So they're coming in in a minute. Yeah, they are. So this will be interesting. And I don't even have any Kleenex because I'm a very emotional <laughs> person. And I could already feel myself kind of getting a little verklempt. As a journalist, of course, I wanted to document all of this. It was difficult for me to be both the, the, the journalist, reporter, the cameraman, and the nephew and son in all of this who is also overwhelmed by the emotion of the moment. This is just the oddest experience to you know, I've seen Bear's picture, and um, and he looks like me. I mean, everybody who looks at it goes, oh my God. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if he walks like me, like a gorilla. Yeah. His arms hanging down like this. Sounds like voice, you, maybe. What his voice sounds like. This will be uh, really interesting. My dad is sitting there, an emotional mess. Bear walks around the corner, and you can hear me like, gasp. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Seven years. How are you? And they immediately start hugging. Ooh, I heard that back. Right? <laughs> How are you, brother? Good. Wow. What you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> oh it's wow. Crazy. It's like looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. And it was just really special. Come here. <laughs> Good to see you. My dad and Bear started looking at other legal records and, and documents and found that they had another brother. So there was another brother out there. So now we have three brothers and they could tell by the genetic profiles there are three different fathers but same mother. So we set up another meeting. A long time no see. Right, this was the full meeting with all the brothers. 56 years? Yeah. Like a lifetime. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> so good to meet you. So good to meet you. <laughs> My namesake. Yeah. The oldest brother, 
uh, Uncle Jerry, as we call him, who lives up in Wyoming, drove down from Wyoming to Salt Lake City. Then Uncle Bear came uh, into Salt Lake as well, and then we flew into Salt Lake, and we all met in a hotel there. You guys just have uh, unbelievable luck. Yeah. <laughs> at least. Yeah. At least. It's yeah. overwhelming. It is. Yeah. yeah. You guys look familiar, though. Yeah, and so do you. Jerry brought a bunch of photographs, family photographs, to talk about uh, the background of the family. And so my dad, within a short period of time, learned his mother's name and saw a picture of her. And he's going back and looking at these things and comparing childhood photos of himself. They did a side-by-side -side where it's my dad's high school picture next to her uh, picture about the same age and you see the striking similarities with every step in the process. It was like a new wave of emotions and it meant so much to my father especially. Walking through this process with my dad has been a, a great life gift for the both of us. And there are many more twists and turns and mysteries and secrets to unlock still ahead. Who knows where it goes from here.